This week's word of the week is again, not just one word, multiple words. Uh, cubic feet per hour, or CFH. I had a guy come in the other day and we were doing some procedures yet again and uh, I said, he ran that at 30 and I paused, waiting for him to say cubic feet per hour. And then I said, you know what the gauge is on a TIG welder is measured in the units? Uh, PSI? Nope, cubic feet per hour. This is something you really need to know. Um, on a welding procedure, it's gonna say CFH, cubic feet per hour. Now there's a couple different uh, units that are on some of these bottles. So we're gonna go over all of them, but uh, we're gonna start with PSI what the guy said. PSI is on the regulator, but it's just the bottle pressure. Uh, the working pressure is going to be cubic feet per hour. Uh, other uh, gases that use PSI, acetylene and oxygen, those are pounds per square inch, not cubic feet per hour. So it can get a little bit confusing. The other thing that's on there is going to be KPA. Anywhere that you see PSI, there's going to be a KPA, um, and that is for kilopascals. That's for the metric system. Uh, the metric system being mentioned, where CFH is, there's also LPM. Most of the regulators, I went out in the lab and I went and looked at all these regulators, most of them just had CFH on it, but there was another thing on there for LPM, that's liters per minute. Now, we're looking at CFH, and usually that's in like red and that's in black, or vice versa, so you can differentiate the two, but both scales will be on there. So um, if you're in the metric system, you're going LPM or liters per minute. And your bottle pressure is going to be kilopascals. Now down here, I got cubic feet per hour with an arrow going to Myanmar, Liberia, and the USA. What do they have in common? They're the only three countries that still use the standard system. So when Americans say, you know, why isn't everything cubic feet per hour? There's only three countries that still use the standard system. Everybody else is going to be using kilopascals and liters per minute. So what we'll do now is go out and look at um, an oxyacetylene, a couple of oxyacetylene gauges, um, the ones that I can only see cubic feet per hour on, and then the ones that have kind of both of these. And we'll look at the working pressures as well so you can see uh, exactly what I'm talking about. But you really need to know that cubic feet per hour, when you're TIG welding or you're MIG welding, that's what they're measuring the working pressure with, the cubic feet per hour, unless you're in the metric system and then you're going liters per minute. So we'll go out in the lab and we'll take a look at these gauges. First thing we're looking at here, and the settling um, set up here. If you go over here and look, zoom in a little bit there, you can see PSI or kilopascals. That's your working pressure. Go back over here. This is your bottle pressure. And again, you see PSI and kilopascals. So we'll look at an oxygen setup now. Now we're looking at the oxygen bottles. The regulator on it. Let's zoom in here to the working pressure. You can see in the red, PSI, and the black is kilopascals. Again, that's your working pressure. Then over here, this is your bottle pressure. And you can see again, red, PSI, black, kilopascals. Pretty standard. Now we're going to look at um, MIG or TIG welder here that just has cubic feet per hour. This is a TIG welder, a regulator off the TIG welder. We're going to kind of turn here and go to the working pressure. And you can see right in the middle there, and get lower here, CFH, cubic feet per hour, right around 30. That's only cubic feet per hour, but now let's go over here to our um, bottle pressure. This is the bottle pressure, not the working pressure. And you can see it's back to PSI and kilopascals. So let's go ahead and find one that's got both. Here we are with a regulator off of a MIG welder that has both of them. So let's go over to our working pressure here and you can see right down low there, LPM CFH. Cubic feet per hour is black. You can see it's right around 25. 
liters per minute at the same setting is what? I don't know, what is that, 11, 12-ish? So if you thought that the red was cubic feet per hour, you'd have that at 25, and you'd be actually pumping out 55 cubic feet per hour. And then we'll go over here to the bottle pressure. And again, well, they got bar on this one. I didn't even notice that. But we're looking at PSI for the standard system anyway. You look at it here. But there it is, cubic feet per hour, around 25. Usually it's 25 to 35 cubic feet per hour. So don't forget what cubic feet per hour are. TIG welding, MIG welding, working pressures. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.